I was reaching for the coffee then because I thought it was going to take so, so long for it that could well have incredible done. sustain to end. It could well have done. That I could caffeinate myself. Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. Welcome to Anderton's. And it isn't Christmas, <laughs> so Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woo-hoo-hoo! Fact, it's, it's probably even that was about yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah. Um, so yes, as you can probably tell from Chappers' hat, um, we are <coughs> right in the middle of the Christmas festivities and Orange have brought down these wonderful new amplifiers that are top secret <coughs> until... Sorry, a little bit of coffee went the they... wrong way. <coughs> you want to slap? Yeah. <coughs> That's better, thank you. Better. So yeah, we can't tell you about this, you otherwise they're threatening to kill Sorry. us. I'm mm. probably a dad by now. Oh! I, I, I don't know, I might be by now. Let's hope, well, let's hope it's all gone well. Yes. So congratulations, Rob. Possibly. Congratulations, um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah well, enough. we're all praying and fingers crossed. I mean, like that. So, congratulations to Nat, too. If Thanks, it's Nat. now. Although I don't think it is. I think you're a little, I think you're due a little bit after when this video will come. Okay, so, we'll find out. Well, you'd never know. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we've been told to keep these secret until the NAM show, which I think is something like January 17th or January 18th. You don't tell anybody, like. Lee. Um, but Earlier on this year, was it earlier this year or was it late last year? Oh, Orange made year. <laughs> a bizarre decision early along last year. Do you know what? When we do these videos and we're not putting the video out at the time it actually is, it's so confusing. But at some point in history, <laughs> Orange discontinued the Tiny Terror and everybody sort of went, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, and this has been the first kind of new valve amplifier since then, and, it, and it's kind of not really a direct replacement for Tiny Terror, but it kind of fills a hole. Mm. Um, so we have the Rocker 15 and the Rocker 30, which are... Rocker 32, bro. Rocker 32, yeah. it's all about the extra two. <clears throat> um, I'm chucking you so many innuendos, you're not picking any of them. I'm trying really. my hardest, because I might be a dad <laughs> okay. by now. I've got oh, to be see. careful, man. I mean, you already um, are, you know. So... They're kind of like OR15-y Voice. voiced yeah. things, but obviously in combos. 10-inch speakers. This one has one 10-inch speaker. This one has two 10-inch speakers. So, you know, whether if you like one 10 or two 10s, you know, that's uh, obviously your bag decision. Um, they're both very simple. So you've got a, They're both two channels. So you've got a clean channel and a distortion channel. Um, the clean channel has no EQ, no master volume, no nothing. It's just a knob for volume. The gain channel has a uh, gain volume and a three band EQ. Um, you have a half power and a full power mode. So 15 or seven watts on this or 32 or I guess, what's that gonna drop down Less. to? 15, 16 watts, something like that. And then it has, what do they call it? Bedroom to, no, what did they call it that? It was switch? headroom to bedroom. Headroom to bedroom. Yeah. Well done, whoever thought of that orange. It's quite catchy and rhymey. Yeah. Uh, but that will then drop your amp down to either one watt in full power mode or half a watt in half power mode. So they're your bedroom settings. Yes. You're either your half watt or your one watt. I had to think about that for a minute then. Orange-esque in their tone, as you would expect, which I think means they'll do everything from that kind of crunchy, clean, fat gain sound through to very heavy, heavy fuzzy rhythm-y. kind of yeah. gainy sounds. So it depends on what you like. I, I find orange amplifiers quite different to set up. Most amplifiers, you know, you, you, if you want big fat gain, you, you, you can run the gain relatively hot. and that's You've got to think of the gain being tied to the volume. Yeah. So if the volume's halfway up, you can put more gain in. If the volume is quite low, you want to have less gain. Yeah. Because otherwise what you get is that kind of slight fizz, that kind yeah. of martially kind of tone that we're familiar with. So you've got to drive it to allow the gain, is what I was yeah. taught by aid. <clears throat> but don't, also, don't think of these as rocker verb. Um, no. Because they've got the word rocker, don't think they like the rocker verb saturated yeah. kind of uh, lead, kind of almost Soldano y kind of gain, if you will forgive me the Soldano thing. These are way more vintage y vibed, yeah. I, w- I would say. So, I mean, f- from, from my amp. You in clean or are you going clean? Or uh, you going... What? What's clean? Okay, don't do clean. <laughs>
And um, how do I turn this delay off like that? Yeah, there you go. But I could add That's in a really lot more. low gain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've got it very low gain. So I've got on the floor, I've got an angle. If I didn't have the Angry Charlie on the floor, <clears throat> of course you could just add in a little bit of the gain, just with a simple reverb in the loop, and again, you still get... wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so there's a little secret ingredient in the 2x10 that we haven't really told you about, but you may, if you've been listening on headphones or with some stereo speakers, may have worked out. The um, amplifier actually has two power sections, uh, which allows uh, to have a stereo effects return. So almost, to be honest with you, the, 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 the Rocker 32 pretty much is like two of these in, in one box. So what Rob was doing there was feeding the effects return of a Strymon time timeline in stereo back into the amp, allowing you, you know, any stereo effect that you've got, whether it's a, a, a sort of a pulsating delay or a chorus or anything that has a stereo output and, and changes. I can't believe I've said the word pulsating and Danish Pete has giggled like a naughty <laughs> Let's just, um, um, so you get the idea. So listen, listen with headphones, and you'll maybe. I think it was chat setting yeah. B. Well, wasn't now, it? now I'm on the um, the clean channel for the battery, the battery okay. goodness, and you can. If you're just using the, the combo not mic'd up, the stereo imaging just adds like an extra layer of dimension, although the two speakers are pretty close together, so you don't get, you know, sort of crazy big, um, terrible arthritis. Um, you don't get like crazy stuff, but of course what we're doing and what you could do at bigger venues, of course, is we've mic'd up the two speakers in stereo, and then it's up to you how hard you pan the kind of the left and the right thing through the front of house or through your... Uh, interface if you're recording or whatever, <clears throat> and then and then of course you can get those epic, mm. you know, introduction type delay things where you're really hearing big swirling kind of panning. London grammar, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly that kind of thing. Even a little bit of Dorje. Yeah, um, you know, there's some like some of those big things that Rabir does when. Yeah, you know, does, it's all very cool. Big things. He's a stereo man. Yeah, um, I'm an analog man. Like uh, what was his name? The Eagles man. Oh, I was, love that tune. What was the album? 
Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Just had to literally go through I the memory were, banks. I thought you were going to do something funny. And no, say no, I just had to go through the memory banks of who did Analog Man. And I, I just thought, absolutely love the song Analog Man. If you've yeah. not listened to Analog Man by Joe so Walsh, it's on my iPhone the, right now. I read on a forum once, so it must be true. And I think it was an interview with Joe Walsh. Do you know what amp Joe Walsh used to record all the guitar parts on Analog Man? Oh, I'm going to say it's a Fender, um, uh, a little tiny practice yeah, Fender. The Fender Mustang. Oh, there you go. The 15 watt Fender Mustang. Yeah. I think it's all down to Joe Walsh's fingers. I'm sure it is. He probably never washes them. They've got tone dust on them. <laughs> and anything he touches, it's just... Oh! Tone, tone gloves. It's like, if he was to touch your guitar, another idea, it would Rob. just immediately That's resonate. Like, oh! That's what we need to do with tone our gloves. snake oil guitar effects. It, yeah. With our snake oil guitar effects line that we're going to bring out is tone gloves. Yeah, we've got this idea. Someone accused us of being snake oil salesmen. Yeah. And then Lee went... Why don't we actually sell snake oil? And yeah. it could be like fretboard lubricant, and we'd brand it yeah. snake oil. And then we'd do stri snake oil strings, snake oil everything. straps. Everything. Everything, yeah. Copyright. Trademark. Yeah. November 2016, even though it's not. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Captain Lee and Chappers let me, Incorporated. Let me do some tones on the smaller one. So the smaller one, this, they're both uh, the same speakers, two in this one, one in this one. They are the Orange Voice of the World speakers, which are their own brand of speaker. Two in the orange, one in the orange. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Uh, I am going to do this on full power, full power, and I have, there are no effects built into these amplifiers, so any reverbs, delays, anything you hear like that are coming from external devices. It's a lovely clean sound. A lot more bass than you would perhaps expect yeah, for sure. from, a, from a small... Why don't you whack on that pedal? Well, that's the that's just a boost, so that won't really oh, do okay. a lot of oh, the clean yeah. sound. So if I go to the dirty sound, um, and again, we'll start with the gain at about 10 o'clock. break up kind of tone. Um, if we wind the game round to like, my favourites are around about the sort of 12 to 1 o'clock. Um, is that too loud? Yeah. Um, Turn it down a smidgen, it is a bit loud. Um, and then you can put, I've got my boost pedal on the floor now. And I, I think that's how I'd use this amp, it's like a three channel, you know, so on clean. The back, you could also make it much quieter, couldn't you? I could, I'm just gonna take the gain, like, you know, max it out to show you, and I've taken the boost off now to show, this is where I, this is where I kind of don't really like it, but, you know, each to his own. Just a smidgen too harsh in the top end. I for me, thought there. that sounded all right. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm having an interesting uh, consideration now as to whether or not they've specifically voiced it for, for people to play with we, a lot of gain. Yeah, try it. They might have done it because if you have it less than that, it doesn't sound as good. I'm wondering. I'm just wondering whether they've specifically gone. Our oh, kids are going to want the gain a little bit of volume. Yeah. So lots of gain, a little bit of volume seems to work. But then if you bring the volume into our normal everyday kind of you're playing with a friend, that kind of gain really won't work. Now, one of the things that I think Orange have taken on board here is that the full to half power mode 
never really solved the problem of people who wanted to play at home. You know, the, the, the old fashioned tiny yeah, terror. At 15 watts, you could gig with that, no problem. And at seven watts, it was still a relatively gigable amplifier. It just created an amp that went a little bit more spongy and a little bit sort of browner sounding, less headroom, that kind of thing. But it was still, it wasn't a bedroom mode. I'll try and demo, let's get a sort of a reasonably loud sound on full power and then just show you what half power sounds. Um, so that, that's, let's see, that's kind of about halfway up on the volume and just a little bit over half on the gain. And then half, half, that sounds great. half power. It is quieter, but by no means quiet enough. There's just a lack, a less low end in yeah. the mix. That, that literally was the, I just switched between half power and full power. So you can kind of see, it doesn't really so solve the home problem. It what? also really shows you that these amps are designed to be driven. They're, they're supposed to be played loud. Oh. So I've just now switched it into the bedroom mode. And it's gonna make you a on, cocoa and sort of stroke your hair slightly yeah, for you. Haven't changed any of the settings from how loud it was before. And that's still loud enough to annoy the parents, so let's go half power bedroom mode. obviously hasn't got that joyous feeling of air moving and naughtiness. Yeah, but, but it still it's, sounds good It's though. basic tone is good. What this is is that I, I taught Lee Creeping Death and um, he's, he's been trying to I haven't, it. I haven't, it literally, Rob showed it to me yesterday because I felt bad that uh, I'd never been a Metallica fan and then about a week ago, I thought, I must listen to Master of Puppets. I'm just gonna put it on, I'm gonna listen to the whole album all the way through. It's a great album. I struggled, I must admit, I was kind of, I'm getting to the point after like six or seven tracks thinking, I don't think I can do this. Uh, but I get it, at least I, I felt it was important because I know how influential they've been to, to millions of guitar players, so I felt I had to to, and the new album, it's really it. good. I haven't heard it, so. It's, well, I mean, it's not your thing. But it, I, I, honestly, I was like, oh God, it's gonna be, you know, but it's it's actually really good. Yeah. Okay, so pricing on these, these are, as I said, these are full fat valve amplifiers. So, you know, come with a full fat valve amplifier price. Five ninety nine for the one by 10 and about 800 quid. I think it's 829 or something like that for the two by 10. They are the official UK prices as of January, 2017. And what's great um, is by January, hopefully the, the pound will have increased in value. So it'll be worth more to you. Perhaps. Yes. And we'll have a mad dog as the uh, Secretary of Defense in America. Will we? Yeah, have you not heard that this morning? No. General mad oh, yeah. dog something or other his name is. So that's gonna sound good, isn't it? Oh, the guy it? that absolutely said that he liked killing people and he really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. He said uh, he said the Afghans have been slapping their women around for the last five years, so I enjoyed yeah. going and shooting a few of them. Yeah, that's good. World peace, World we peace. are. So, so there we go, look, that's... Um, go, go on, give us all the, all the gains. Uh, all the gain, yeah, but... Yeah, in that bedroom saying. At, at its, uh, Bed, so this bedroom is, shredder. Th this is bedroom shredder. So this is the volume about as low as it'll go, the gain as high as it will go. And now it sounds like one of those little battery powered amplifiers. <laughs> you wouldn't spend 700 quid though to get that sound, would you? Well, I mean, some people will. No, I, I, I think it's, I'm not, and this isn't even anything against the, the rocker, I just think, you know, you're, you're, if you're buying a valve amplifier. You're buying it to play loud, aren't you? Yeah, if you're buying a 15 watt valve amplifier and 97% of your playing time is at that volume level, yeah. you've just bought the wrong thing. No, of course, you know? yeah, of course. Uh, you know, really, this is, this is an amp that wants to be unleashed. These are both amps that, you know, they are little mini beasts that like pit bull terriers on a lead, literally trying to, you know, get Now, Lee, that's breedist. All right, I'll scrap that bit then. These are like some sort of rabid dog on a leash that's just like, let me off, I want to kill something. Very it's good. like two amplifiers 
that are really raring to go <laughs> in a gig and they want to go. <laughs> They are. They are like maybe it's um maybe it's here's a, here's a less uh, politically incorrect. It's like a racehorse. It's like a stallion racehorse that literally all it wants to do is just gallop as fast as it can to get from A to B. It's like and you've literally gone no no no. Can we just literally can we just sideline? It's like, like, like Donald Trump on a bungee rope <laughs> looking at a field of oil, going oh I want to get the oil. Uh. It's like literally having a nuclear bomb and thinking all I want to do is just literally kill that ant down there and you drop it and wipe out half a country. Which is really, really wrong. So every Shouldn't level of wrong. Think, post below your best analogy yeah. for why these amplifiers are great for gigging but less, well why valve amplifiers, sorry, are good for gigging and not so good for home use. Get you laid. Is that an analogy? Or is it if you take, if you <laughs> you take some be. of the words out of analogy, do you get halfway there? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been Rob Chapman. <laughs> and I've been the captain. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. Yeah.